Hey everyone, let's do a video for balance. This is the icy driveway, icy sidewalk time of year. And one way that we can prevent slips and falls is to have incredibly good balance. So a little different than what we might see in our typical yoga classes where we do static balance. We are gonna do some moving balance to challenge our balance development and make it more similar to real life or what we call a functional exercise. So let's go ahead and start standing in mountain pose. Keeping in mind, of course, that as I do all of these movements, uh, that you can come back to mountain pose. You could use the wall or a sturdy chair to help you with your balance, something you can put your hand on. But for now, let's shift our weight side to side, foot to foot. And you'll probably notice something happens with your foot and ankle while you do this. So ideally we want the inner arch of the foot to lift, that's the foot muscle engaging. The same way we would pull our abdominal muscles in, we can do the same thing lifting our foot muscle up. You might even want to look down and see, oh yeah, that is kind of happening with my foot. My ankle's doing this like weird twitchy thing and my inner arch is lifting. If you don't see that happening on its own, you can do it manually. Sometimes we say pull the ball of your big toe towards the heel. Some people call it foot doming or short foot. If the muscles kick in and it helps you balance, perfect, you're in good shape. So let's pick one foot to stand on and it might help, of course, to have our hands out or hold on to something. We're gonna circle our ankle. One way and the other. Point and flex, wiggle your toes. You might like to write your name with your foot. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And of course, if you don't need to have your hands out, you could have them relaxed by your side. You might make uh, this better resemble real life by carrying the things you would normally have with you, a, a purse on one shoulder and your coffee cup in the other. See if you can do it without spilling your coffee. Don't do this on a white carpet. And let's do something pretty typical in the yoga world. Let's come into tree pose. So we'll find our balance on one foot and we can have a kickstand or we can bring this up onto our calf and you'll see why for today I won't recommend bringing it up onto the thigh. You can try if you like. And we may know other tree pose arms that we like and of course you could go there. But we're gonna extend and then bring it back in. We can point or we can flex. So we're challenging our balance in a moving way, right? Just as we would be doing on the sidewalk. Let's do one more. We'll come back and do the other side. Reset that posture. Make sure we're breathing if we've been holding our breath and then it's up to you. We can kickstand, we can lift it up, but we're gonna keep moving and flowing. All of those old tricks apply. You can pick a spot and stare at it. You can pick a spot on the floor and stare at it. Let's move on. We'll do some knee raises. So we'll pick one foot to balance on. Again, we can have our hands on our hips or out for balance. We're gonna bring our knee up and then tap behind us. Knee up and tap behind us. Again, let's make sure we're still breathing. It might be easier to breathe in as we tap back and breathe out as we reach up. Let's do that one more time. Are the muscles of our foot still working? Are we still breathing? <sighs> and we've got the other side. So since we're bringing the leg forward, it's usually easier to breathe out. It creates a little bit more space. Maybe our ankle is doing that weird twitchy thing. It's just a normal thing it does. It knows what it's doing. We can spread our toes. We might notice that the muscles of our foot and calf are really feeling it. That is A-O-K. <sighs> we'll come back to center. Let's do one more here. So we're gonna practice putting our weight forward. Again, we can stand in mountain. We can put our arms out for balance. It's all good. Let's practice lifting one foot 
and tapping it forward and then bringing it back. Tapping it forward and bringing it back. So we are putting a little bit of body weight on that front foot and then we change our mind and we bring it back. All right, let's do our last side. Here we go, tapping forward. We might wanna look at what we're doing. We'll make this our last one. And then it might feel good to circle ankles and wrists. holding our breath this whole time we can breathe a sigh of relief and it'll give us one bonus here so since we've been working the muscles of our calves and feet if we do have a wall nearby we can do a short step back and press our calf down pushing into the wall increases the stretch sensation we can spread our fingers shoulders down and back we even get a little bit of a wrist exercise and then to stretch the underside of the foot, let's come up onto the toes. You may have a very small range of motion in here. That's probably uh, more normal than coming all the way up. Although if you can come all the way up, embrace that range of motion. And let's switch sides. So we step a short step back, press the heel down to feel a stretch through the lower leg. You may feel a stretch in the heel as well. We'll come up onto the toes, probably feeling a stretch in the underside of the foot. This is good. Something that rarely gets stretched, especially as we are in our heavy boot season and shuffling our feet rather than rolling through them. Important work to do. Alrighty, let's just do one full breath together to release that. <sighs> Perfect. Good luck with this one. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work to build the strength in our feet and to build our endurance and our balance. But I do find that balance is one of these skills that develops very quickly, but we lose it quickly if we don't practice. So keep it up and hopefully I'll see you soon watching this video again. From my light to yours, namaste.